what I'd like to show you is how to make a spreadsheet um, using Google Docs for your school library budget. It's actually quite simple and there's just a few little tips and tricks that hopefully will help you along the way. So what you'll want to do is, using uh, once you're logged in in your Gmail account, um, you're into the Google Docs, you'll want to just create a new spreadsheet. Okay, and so once that's open, it'll open up a new window which I've resized here. Um, you can title it. You might want to call it uh, Library Budget, for example. Okay. Um, what you'll want to do now is you'll notice on this area here, this is for formulas, and that's quite important. I'll show you more about that in a second. But first of all, you'll probably just want to decide what you're going to uh, title your column. Typically, you might want something like details here. So you might want to put in the details of the purchase. You'll want to track the date. And this doesn't have to be in any particular order. Whatever you're comfortable with, the amount of the order. And you'll want to, to put your budget total for your balance. Okay, so those are basic um, elements you'll want to include. You can resize, for example, if you see that this is not going to fit on there, or you want more space in the, the, the details column, which you probably will. So those are all different things that you can use. Okay, so here you're going to just use text. Uh, on this one here, you can put in a function for date, but probably for what you'll want, you'll just want to put the date, um, the amount of the order, and then your budget. So let's say you start off the year with um, a budget of, let's just simply say, um, $2,000 for a certain budget. Um, let's say that you're, you purchase some, some books from Amazon, a typical source, but some people might choose to buy. That purchase was made, today is March the 6th, and you'll want to put down the amount of the order. So let's say that this order costs uh, $500, just to get going. Now in this, this column here, this is where you're going to include that. You will want to put this as a function to be always going into here and subtracting, so this keeps your account up to date. So basically, this formula, there are a couple things that you can do. You can either go to show all formula, or you can just simply type it in if you know. And basically, quite simple, you're going to say that this column, or this cell, these are called cells, is equal to, and you're going to want to put the column above this, which is these two, as you can see, and you're going to subtract what's in this column here. So it's always going to be taking that away. And then if you just hit return, you'll see that right away that automatically calculates. Now the good thing is with this, once you have a formula in here, all you can all you need to do now is just you know, find that little pointer and you're just gonna drag that down. And that's just going to keep uh, that formula going for you. So now we have a page basically like that. So it's showing you fifteen hundred, but let's say we go now and uh I buy a video. Well, you might want separate budgets for that. So let's say I, I buy some books from my ULS order. And that date could be, um, if you could decide how you want the date to be, so I should March 6th, 2011. And that is going to cost $850. Now, automatically, once you hit that, it's going to recalculate and so forth. Again, you won't, after you've done that first cell here, you won't even need to use that um, to do that again unless you run out of space. So, uh, again, I can do another order from uh, books from, let's say, Gabriel yeah, um, Dinners. I can buy a few things from there. And let's say that that's a purchase from March 6th. And that order was $178 again. So automatically calculate. And that's all there is to it. So hopefully that helps you out. Um, if you want, for example, to do one for each different budget, you'll want to add a sheet. And I guess I should just mention that quickly. So that way you can have a budget here. Your library budget, you might have a book. This could be your book. This could be your, um, you might just want to call this one your audio visual budget if that's how you to have to divide divided. I know I worked in a school library where I had second language, so I would maybe have this as my French resource budget. 
and so forth. And so this one here could just be my standard print budget. Okay, and you would want to do the same thing for each of your um, for each of your accounts. And you would be able to access this from home or from school.